Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is BTD and welcome back to another radio re re review me uh, something where I thought I'd do it on my actual car because you know the last car we did was a polo that wasn't my car. This is actually my car and if some of you guys notice like the dials and everything in there you might think oh I know that car. This is actually a 2014 VW up. Now you might think these cars are rubbish but trust me these cars are awesome especially with some of the modifications you can do to them. They're cool. What I thought I'd do is do a little review on this little bad boy here, seeing as the last video we did was a radio install on the VW Polo. So I thought, why not do one for my car, which I've done very, very nicely. And I'll show you all the little features this AVH 71000, or 7100 actually, DAB can do. Let's get into it. Just a quick note before we do, I'm in like the middle of somewhere where I thought I'd do this video. So if you hear things going past, that's not my fault. Sorry, guys. So, yeah, here it is the Pioneer AVH 7100 DAB. Very, very nice unit. You might be thinking, God, this is like a, a single DIN. Obviously, the last um, video we did was a double DIN, where obviously you had like the full, uh, I don't know, push in, there's your screen kind of thing. And then you might be thinking, this is a single DIN. That looks very, very boring. How the hell are you going to review this? Well, this little one DIN radio has a, a nice party trick, which I'm going to show you guys. So, yeah, let's have a look at that. See what that's all about. So when installing one of these, it's very, very complicated, so that's why I didn't show it too much. But I hot wired, not really hot wired, I wired in my stereo right into my ignition of my car. So when I come over here and fire up, this is gonna be the cool little trick you can do with yours. As you can see, auto headlights, well, hey. Um, turn it over, this happens. Oh yes, we got a screen, guys. This is party trick I was telling you guys about what these screens can do so yeah we're going to get into the features what it's all about as soon as this is kind of like a review and I'll show you all the little fancy features this thing can do so let's get into the first one so with these many features as you can see if you go to here this is going to show you all of the systems that you have available to you you have your DAB digital radio which you will have to purchase one of these little bad boys up here that's the antenna which goes in and you can get your um your signal from you've also got your normal radio which is fm am you have your disc which i'll show you a very fun feature feature about that in a minute bluetooth audio that speaks for itself spotify same again ipod pretty much same again you have your aux where you can plug in uh i don't know if you have like a, an ipod or something like that you want to play your music off off you got that off off you got your av which is normally for um i'm guessing videos av isn't it and then you have your camera view, which I do not have for this thing. And then you have the source off, which will then push it all off. And the screen won't be usable. You'll just have it down without the screen. And then you have power off, which is obviously everything goes off. So yeah, those are the overall things you can do with this. And I'm going to have a little look around and see what other stuff this thing can do. So here we are in the settings of the lovely, lovely unit. We have various amounts of different uh, system settings that you can do on it. I'm not going to go through all of these because they're a bit you know, self-explanatory of how you preferize your your radio. And this is just like an overview of what I think of this thing. So as you can see here, it says auto flap. That's when I turn my ignition on, this came up. And when I turn my ignition off, which I'll show you after we've done this, it will go back down again without having to, you know, do anything, which I think is really, really cool. We then also have different themes you can have for your actual radio. You can have the, you know, just change things up. You can change the theme up, which colors the clock how you want the clock to look and even the illumination of what happens here so as you see blue red green white with me i like to have a multicolored one and as you see eventually it starts to change colors which i think is really really cool it, it sort of shows this is something out of the ordinary if you know what i mean so let's go ahead and we'll head over to some of the features that you can get obviously bluetooth i'm not going to show you any of that but you can make phone calls on this um in the box that when you do buy this it does come with a little microphone which you'll have to put in yourself but obviously then you can make phone calls you can do whatever you want to do through bluetooth as you can see some panic at the disco you got some music which is always cool because you know when you're driving you always want a bit of music don't you we've got that which is awesome then it also has a one a very neat feature which i think you guys will like I've got a disc in at the moment, the disc being a DVD. And when we press that, we'll just give it a second. It will then read 
the uh, the DVD, and if I just turn this down, so I do not want copyright. We, you can have video up on your screen. I wouldn't advise while you're driving; that is very illegal. But as you can say, if you're in traffic and you want to do something cool, like you know, like with me, have some Big Bang Theory on, then you can do that, which I think is really really cool. To be fair. And the last feature I'm going to show with this beautiful unit is this feature. Now with me, I wired in my cable, you can't actually probably see that, to come through inside here and come out. And I have my iPhone cable. Now what I'm going to do is going to plug it in and hopefully I can still keep recording. And it will show you what happens when I do this. So plugged it on in. As you can see down here, it will come up with iPhone slash iPod. You press and it will then give you the option of Apple CarPlay. And as you can see, you can have your ways. I'm not gonna go into that because you'll see where I am. Um, you've got your music, as in for me, I like to use Amazon Music, your messages, your WhatsApp, your Google Maps, you can make phone calls, your audio. You know, this is just a, a shout out to Apple CarPlay. This also works with Samsung Auto. So if you wanna be using that, that is also cool as well. You're able to do that nicely. And yeah, that's pretty much it. This thing is awesome. Like I said, I'll show you. As you can see, my ignition is currently on. If we turn that off, the screen will then go black. And then give it a couple seconds. And down it goes. And it will switch off. I haven't had to press anything other than turn my engine and my ignition off, sorry. And that's it. You're able to leave your car, lock your car, and the radio does that all by itself. Now, this might have been a bit of a quick review. I don't know if you guys want to see anything more on this radio. Uh, maybe how to install it, you know, because you're going to have to have optional extras alongside with it. But I, I can do that if people really want to see that. So, yeah, leave some comments down below what you guys think of this. Um, if you want to, you know, purchase one yourself, I'll probably, hopefully, leave a link in the description to where you can buy one of these bad boys. They're awesome to, um, you know, tune your car up sort of make it that little bit more luxury inside a car that isn't really fulfilling that uh obviously this is a, a single din so if you have a single din car this will most likely fit and work but you can go onto the pioneer website and put in your car and it will tell you whether it will fit or not so yeah hope you guys enjoyed this if you have smash a thumbs up on this video subscribe if you haven't already for more videos on Volkswagens because apparently we like Volkswagens. and yeah until the next time guys i hope you have a good old day um I'll see you guys in the next video. But until then, peace out, guys.